By our definition, you know, a heart attack is typically going to be associated with some obstruction to blood flow in a coronary artery. Um, it's usually related to a rupture of a plaque uh, inside of a coronary artery. Those plaques are generally comprised of cholesterol and all the other things that go along with it, white blood cells, platelets, and those type of things. And um, I usually will describe the plaques that we get in the coronary arteries as something analogous to acne. Uh, where you got a, um, a, a filled sack, if you want, with a lot of um, things like white blood cells, platelets, and the, and the cholesterol and fat uh, and that type of thing. And it can grow very, very slowly over years, and <clears throat> or it can suddenly show up and very, be very, very inflamed and then spontaneously rupture for whatever reason. They can do it by themselves. They can do it from changes in heart rate and blood pressure related to exercise and that type of thing. But the bottom line is, is that you get a sudden stoppage of blood flow, and that blood flow is delivering the um, the nutrients, typically oxygen, is the one that we worry about most. And, you know, at that point, once that stops, it's just a matter of time until that clot either breaks down mm -hmm. uh, through your body's own natural enzyme pathways or uh, you have cellular death down at the end of the uh, line there where, you know, that's where we're typically talking about things w we describe as a myocardial infarction. There's a lot of different things that people yes. will talk about as heart attacks, and yeah. some of them are <clears throat> attacks of the heart that really aren't the same thing, but for the purposes of the discussion that we were um, getting into there, it's, it's a lack of blood flow to the okay. heart tissue.